We're going to show you how to install cement board on a shower curb without using fasteners on the top or the inside of the curb, which would otherwise penetrate the waterproofing. Utilizing this technique is very much the same as when you would install a foam curb overlay. Select your levels. One should be close to the length of the curb and the other should be a torpedo. Surfaces sloped towards the drain should be one quarter of an inch per foot. A torpedo level like this one with an incremental vial makes quick work of determining the pitch. Place the torpedo level on the curb to check and see if the slope is adequate. We can see here that the slope on this curb is showing positive pitch towards the drain as opposed to negative pitch which would send the water in the wrong direction. All horizontal surfaces whether tile, waterproofing, or substrate supporting waterproofing need to be sloped towards the drain. You can see that our curb is at a level along the long length as well. We will correct for that too. Measure your curb. The top measurement is usually four and an eighth. This measurement can be increased if the shower liner was installed too tight or shallow. Our liner is in good shape and will not interfere with our overlay. The reason we use quarter inch board is because we will have to accommodate some thin set mortar and we do not want the curb to be too wide prior to the application of tile. Measure the inside face. This measurement can be anywhere from one and a half to three inches. It depends on how much room the liner will allow you. Some liner installations are very tight, and the higher the bend in the bottom of the liner is, the more likely your cut will be shorter. Measure the outside face. This measurement can be anywhere from four to four and a half inches. Measure the length of the curb. This measurement is often 59 inches when the side walls are already in. Transfer these measurements to your cement board. We're using a scrap of leftover board. You can use a long level or a chalk line to mark where you'll be cutting. You can raise and support the board you're cutting with 2x4s underneath it. The two lines for the top of our overlay will not be cut all the way through. The idea here is to cut these two lines about halfway through. We want this overlay to be one piece. The only line to cut through the entire depth will be the end cut, which depending on how you mark the board will either be the short inside face or the taller outside face. After making your cuts, your board should look like this. Now you're ready to fold the board on each one of the creases you've made. Test fit your overlay. It should be snug on the sides and have the overall flexibility to pitch towards the drain. A good fitting overlay is a little loose on the inside face. This is to account for the thin set mortar in the next phase. At this point we can see the correction that will need to be made to make our overlay level across the long length as well as the positive pitch towards the drain. Clean the inside of your overlay, removing any dust that was made during the cutting process. Mix some thin set mortar. While most thin set mortars would be adequate, we recommend a modified mortar like LHT. An LHT mortar does not deform as much during the curing process if it is installed correctly, which is usually up to one half of an inch once the overlay is embedded. Apply a liberal amount of thinset to the inside face and top of the curb. On the curb top, you will add more mortar along the outside edge of the curb. This is to aid in the pitch. At this time, also add more mortar to the curb length to correct for level as needed. Apply mortar to the inside of your overlay on the inside face and top. Install the overlay on the curb. Before applying too much pressure, check the horizontal level from side to side. At this time, work the inlay into the mortar while keeping an eye on the level. Apply pressure to the inside face of the overlay to ensure good contact is made with the mortar. Set the pitch of the overlay according to the torpedo level. While observing the level for pitch, install the screw on the outside face to maintain the slope. Add screws as necessary to secure the outside face. 
you can see the top of our overlay has increased the pitch to about one quarter inch per foot and we are level along the long length of the curb. Begin applying thinset mortar to both corners on the top of your curb overlay as well as the inside corners and the inside corner at the top of the curb. Embed alkali resistant mesh into the mortar on both ends of your curb as well as the inside corners. Dress up the curb with a sponge if you have any lumps of mortar left behind. You may install clamps on your overlay if you feel they are needed. Do not make them too tight. As long as the shower liner was installed correctly, you more than likely will not need any clamps. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.